The infinite vasts of the universe hold endless possibilities and secrets. And here's one of the intriguing questions. How life and we as humans would look like on other planets. Imagine a world where the laws of physics, the environment, and the conditions are vastly different from what we're used to. How would we adapt and evolve to survive in these strange new lands? Let's see. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and has a thin atmosphere. The temperatures there are extreme, with the day side reaching over 800 degrees Fahrenheit and the night side dropping to negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what can we do to survive these crazy temperatures and constant solar radiation? Maybe we can magically turn into metal. For example, titanium and platinum can perfectly tolerate high temperatures. But seriously though, there is an option. We could settle underground, where the temperatures aren't so frenzied. If we lived underground, we might evolve with large eyes to better capture light. We might also evolve thicker skin to protect ourselves from the intense radiation. Basically, we have two options. Become metal or become moles. Let's move on to Venus. This planet is extremely hostile. First of all, Venus is known for its thick, more toxic than your ex type of atmosphere. The whole planet is covered with carbon dioxide and its surface is absolutely dry, making it incredibly hot. The average temperature is around 847 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the hottest planets in our solar system. Also, don't forget about the crazy pressure. Standing on Venus would be like standing 3,000 feet underwater. Only particular hardy microbes from Earth could survive in such conditions. So, if you want to live on Venus, you might have to become a microbe. But, unfortunately, since we're not microbes, we have to wear special gear and equipment to survive there. Maybe we'd have to develop a heat-resistant exoskeleton to protect ourselves, as well as get some new lungs that can filter out the toxic elements in the atmosphere. Let's talk about our favorite red sibling, Mars. The first noticeable change after a few hundred years would be your new skeleton. The gravity on Mars is much weaker than on Earth, so your muscles and bones would shrink. To make up for this difference, you'd have to eat more and probably start going to the gym. Also, you'd have to adapt to the low atmospheric pressure and colder temperatures. You need to retain heat, right? That means you need a thicker layer of body fat. Sorry folks, but on Mars, we might become fatter. Another reason to start working out. Another big change would occur in your skin. Your skin is like a big barrier that protects you from harmful things such as bacteria, UV light, looking totally creepy, and so on. So what would happen to it? Most likely, you would turn orange, due to the carotenoids. Carotenoids are a type of nutrient that you get from foods such as carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, and so on. They protect very well against ultraviolet radiation on Mars. They only have one downside. By eating a lot of pumpkins from the Martian farmer's market, you'll gradually start to turn orange. But maybe it's not so bad. Maybe life on Jupiter would be easier. Yeah, no, it has no solid land. This planet is made up of hydrogen and helium and is referred to as a gas giant. You would simply float there, like in a huge cloud. And even if you managed to land and tried to walk, it would be like moving through a super thick fog. So how would we evolve there? Firstly, we might become much larger in size to withstand the immense pressures. Secondly, the temperature fluctuations on Jupiter are enormous. The surface is terrifyingly cold and the temperature rises significantly under the outer layers of the atmosphere. Thirdly, if you lived on Jupiter, there would be no verbal language. This gas giant absorbs radio waves, so even if you were speaking, no one would hear you. There would be no music either, so no parties. And what's the point then? Hey, maybe we could communicate with sign language, but that's not so simple either. Jupiter is full of wild winds and storm clouds, so it's unlikely you would be able to see anything. So even if we evolved there in some way, our lives would still not be easy. Before landing on Saturn, you would probably want to check out its iconic rings, but you wouldn't be able to do that because Saturn's rings consist of a bunch of ice particles flying in space, so it would be extremely hard to land. So let's go straight to Saturn itself. At first, it may seem that Saturn is not bad for us, 
Some layers of this gas giant have quite pleasant temperatures. If we dive deeper into Saturn, it gets surprisingly warm, up to 26 degrees Fahrenheit in its second layer. This is an average temperature in countries like Sweden and Canada. But unfortunately, this is only one such layer. The rest of the planet is incredibly cold, so in order to survive on Saturn, we'd have to do a lot of work. In addition to the cold, we'd have to deal with the planet's harsh environment, including its intense storms, strong winds, and radiation. To protect ourselves from these conditions, we'd need to evolve tough skin again, find some insulation, and so on. Next planet is Uranus. Uranus has a very different environment from Earth, with much colder temperatures, a lack of a solid surface, and a much different atmosphere. It's like another Jupiter, but with blue vibes. It's not that bad, though. There's even water on Uranus. The only problem is, the planet is full of ammonia, that nasty stuff we use for cleaning. So don't be surprised if you feel the gross smell. Also, it's incredibly cold out there, almost like a never-ending winter. So what would it be like to survive in such a dark and harsh environment? We'd need thicker skin, again, to cope with extreme temperatures. And again, we'd need larger eyes to see better in all this darkness. We might even have to develop a new hearing system, like that of dolphins. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's move on to Neptune. If human beings were to evolve on Neptune, they would need to adapt to its harsh conditions. Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from our Sun, is another gas giant. The only difference is this planet may have a solid core. If we were to live on Neptune, we'd need to float or swim in its methane-rich atmosphere. We'd also need to develop gills or something like that in order to breathe. Basically, we'd turn into space reptiles or cosmic fishes. The gravity on Neptune is slightly stronger than Earth's, but strong winds make it difficult to stand in one place. To withstand the wind, we need to be much heavier. Once again, you need to eat a lot and pump up some muscles. Yeah, yeah, technically it's not a planet, but we still love it and can't forget it. A small, distant, and incredibly cold world, Pluto's even smaller than our moon, and because of that, there's almost no gravity there. It will be extremely difficult to stand on it. To avoid accidentally flying into outer space while playing football, we need to create a fake gravity machine. And if we don't want to feel dizzy, we need to evolve a brand new nervous system. But Pluto isn't all that bad. For example, there's liquid water under the surface, and even some icy mountains. Maybe it would be possible to survive there if we had some serious equipment, clothes, supplies, and… nah, too much hassle. Anyway. From the scorching heat of Mercury to the freezing temperatures of Neptune, each planet has a unique set of environmental challenges and opportunities for evolution. While we may never truly know what humans would look like on these other worlds, it's exciting to consider the endless possibilities. Never stop looking at the stars and asking these questions. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.